Hi guys, uh, today I'll be showing you how to do a time lapse with your drone. So in this case, we are using the Hubson Zeno Mini SE. So since we are shooting a sunset today, so we will likely to use an auto setting because uh, it will be pretty easy to do that because of the lighting condition is getting darker and darker. And here I'm choosing the interval. Uh, we'll shoot in uh, five seconds. So every five seconds you take one photo so you can do your calculation that um, with uh, 24 frames per second timeline um, you have to shoot about 30 minutes so i've got my drone up for the in the air for 30 minutes to get a, a, this amount of uh, seconds of the clip so it'll be very helpful if you have a drone that has a longer battery life so that you can uh, shoot uh, longer time time lapse and also you have a bit room for error and uh, it will be also important to always time it correctly because uh, if you miss out the time then you will kind of miss the shot so now what we are doing is uh, we're fast forwarding the uh, recording so I got my drone up in the air for about half an hour time so another thing to take note is your battery level so that uh, you keep track of your battery uh, when it is shooting like low on battery it will initiate return to home so make sure you time that correctly and uh, don't miss any further shot so next up you need to go into a computer um, in this case i'm using a windows pc and um, have your davinci resolve installed and then you have to open up your file on uh, your SD card you just take all the files here so there's so many files here so I'll give you an ex example because uh, I've already edited this clip um, this is in JPEG file I'll give you an example of uh, a file that is uh, uh, after you've taken the time lapse you have all the timestamp here so if you just pull this into your timeline in the uh, editing software the uh, the app will not uh, register it as a video you see there's so many images here so you can't use this so actually what you need to do is you need to go back you need to uh, say for instance this one you have to rename it everything uh, just uh, let me do control a you have to click on f2 and then just simply name something like a hubson xeno mini pro so this is the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro footage so you see that um, it runs so right after that once everything is renamed by sequence you just pull it into your timeline and uh, here you go you have the uh, footage taken so okay so I'll just delete this I'll use the uh, footage by this one so I already rename it once so I'll not make any changes so just make sure you uh, rename it try not try to keep it simple okay so here is all my files on the uh, Xeno Mini SE so you can see that when I run the timeline the footage is uh, shaky it's uh, shaking around because the drone is actually moving around um, you can't really have a very stable footage even up in the sky so this applies to all the drone so just don't be uh, too surprised by this so what you're gonna do now is you go into your inspector tab here just go make sure you're on this tab editing tab go into inspector video make sure you are all, you have the uh, stabilization here so what you're gonna do is you do a stabilize the footage so you just have to wait okay so once this is done you can uh, you notice that the frame actually it uh, kind of zoom in a bit but because we, we have clicked on zoom so actually it zoom in the image if you do not zoom it in you will see the frame beside so what we're going to do is uh, click on zoom just uh, run the footage once to see uh, how smooth it is so you can see that it still is like shaking from right to left what we're going to do now is uh, do a camera lock and stabilize again okay so now you have a much more stable footage but only thing is you'll notice there's some flickers on the screen so um, to fix this um, actually you need to have the uh, 
paid version for the DaVinci Resolve, but I'll still show you how to do it. Go to the effects library and uh, choose uh, effects, I think. Is it here? Filter. There's a deflicker here. Once you drop that in, you actually you need to buy it. So with this, you will not see the flicker anymore. So you will not see any flickering with uh, this. And also if you are having issue running this uh, smoothly, if you are not having a very fast computer, make sure you click on this, the original file. Generate an op optimized media and also um, do a proxy media just to uh, click on it. But since uh, in this test, I'll not do it. So what I'm going to do is I'll not use this deflickering because I think maybe we can just go without it. So let's uh, remove everything here. Okay, so we'll have to uh, just make sure. Oh, great. I've not stabilized this again. So I need to restabilize again. So once you're done with this, um, just uh, double check if everything is okay. So you can just export this out. You can add some music, um, maybe do some small color correction to it, and you're good to go. So just for you to see what's going on, I have a DJI Mini uh, doing a recording on the time lapse on the Hubzone Zeno Mini SE. So I do hope you enjoy my video and uh, hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.